how to create a Wix art portfolio website. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Wix art portfolio website. So let's get started. Now, first off, you're going to go on to Wix.com. You're just going to click on sign in or get started. And I'm just going to click on sign in because I already have a account on Wix. But if you don't have a account on Wix, don't worry. You can even sign up using Facebook, Google, or Apple. You can just use your email account. And I'm just going to continue with my Google account. Now, I have created a couple of websites using Wix and I find the platform to be very easy to navigate. So what you're just going to do is you can see over here, you're going to have your my site section over here. You have the explore help and professional section. Then you have all of your account settings on the top right. After that, you're just going to click on create new site and this is going to open up a new window for you where you're going to select what kind of site you are looking to create. So Wix is going to ask you what kind of site you are looking to build and you're just going to say portfolio portfolio art. So depending on what kind of portfolio you want, if it's just a simple art portfolio, if it's a digital art portfolio, you can choose either. I'm going to go with a simple art portfolio and I'm just going to click on next. And now Wix is going to ask me if I want the Wix ADI, artificial intelligence, to design the website for me after answering a couple of questions, or if I want to use a template and start editing that. I find both of these to be very nice, but I'm going to go with a template because it gives me more customization and I have a larger pick. So that's why I like to go with templates, but you can definitely shorten the amount of time it takes you to make your website by using the ADI. Now you can see over here, there are so many beautiful art templates available on Wix. You can just browse through them and find something that you like. Depending on what type of art style you have, you're going to select a template that fits your aesthetic and your art. So it might just take a couple of scrolls through these pages. You have over 29 pages of just art templates, and this is the best part about Wix that they have so many different options and customizations available for you. So I really like this illustrator template. I find it to be very chic and neat, but it can be considered a bit boring. But this commercial photographer template is also very beautiful, but I think I should go with this. So I'm just going to click on edit and it might take a couple of minutes sometimes to load a template. So never get worried about that. But usually it's going to take you just like 30 seconds to open up your template. Now, after your template has loaded over here, you can see on the left, you have your editing tools and on the top, you have a general toolbar. So first off, what you're going to do is you're going to add your website name. So if your template is obviously going to already going to have a header with a website name, but what you're going to do, you're going to select that text. And I actually find this header to be a bit unappealing. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to enlargen this text and I'm going to place this at the center. And now I'm just going to double click on the text and I'm going to add my own name. So let's say it's Jane's art portfolio. And like this, I'm going to resize my little text box. I'm going to just move it and I'm going to place it at the center. And once it's centered, you're going to see a purple line. So use that purple line as your guide to center your text. After you have done that, you can see over here, the template has its own little pages and you can add and remove menus and pages as you go. So you can see over here, this has work and it has passions, coffee break, fruit salad, and different work, work products. And then you have a store and a info section. But I am going to delete all of these and I'm going to show you guys a more custom kind of art portfolio that I like to create. So deleting these and deleting some of these artworks as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit different. So you can delete the entire work section if you want like this. And so I am going to first off delete all of this. I'm going to add my first page. And the first page I want is to be a welcome to my art portfolio page and a general describe descriptive kind of page. I find that to be the best. So a landing page. I'm going to click on landing page over here. This looks very nice. So I'm going to use this page as my first page at the top and I'm going to use this as my home page. So the welcome page and the home page are going to be the same thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to set this as my home page. And then within this, I'm going to add a strip that is just a basic greeting strip like this, like so. And then I'm going to change the text. So welcome to my art portfolio. 
I'm gonna change the font size to a bit smaller, select it and then change it like so. I'm gonna do that. So this is gonna be my home page. And after that, I am going to click on menus and pages again. And then you can start removing any of the template pages and start adding your own artwork into these pages. So I'm gonna add another site. I'm going to add a basic display of my works. So a banner image and a follow-up image. You can add those. Now I'm going to rename this as my work done. So you can see over here at the top, I have my basic general welcome page and you can rename your general welcome page as well. You don't need to keep it as general. I'm just going to click on these three dots and I'm going to double click on my text and I'm going to rename this into welcome. I'm going to save this like so. I have a welcome and a work page. Go on over to the welcome section. So after you have added all of your pages, you can see on the top left over here, you can navigate through different pages and start adding yourself so the welcome page is very simple you understand the essence of it but then you have your work page and on your work page i would suggest that you first delete any of these uh, previous sections so if any of these templates have a old little section that you don't need just click on delete over here and what i like to do is remove these little excess bars and i like to move these a bit closer and now you can see these are obviously sample images but you're gonna add your own artworks over here and then add your descriptions and then you can display your work like this so after that you're just going to click on publish at the top right over here and you can use your own custom domain if you want on wix but that requires you to purchase a silver gold or vip plan you can't add your own domain name without having a premium plan on wix which i find to be a little irritating but it's all right but you can always use the free domain name provided by wix and if you just add your own name so on uh, jane's art portfolio like like this anything random it's going to let you know if that domain name is available or not you're just going to click on save and continue and now you can see your site is saved and it's also published you're just going to click on publish now and then you're going to have a pop-up box that's going to tell you to view your site now you're just going to click on view site and then you can see how your website is looking like and if you go back into your basic account you can see your website in your my site as well so you can edit and change things later on so you don't have to worry about that you can edit all of your websites later on as well it feels something is not as you want it to be you can change it it's not that big of a deal so this was our welcome page and if you click on work we just had those basic samples these little samples that it didn't change now after you have created your art portfolio on wix if you go on to your basic dashboard where you're going to be able to see all of your websites to manage your account or your wix website you just click on select and edit site and then you have a website dashboard. So from this dashboard, you can manage all of your website details. And I'm just going to wait for this to load. Now you can see over here in your website tools, you have contacts, communications, CRM tools, marketing and SEO, analytics and reports, finances, channels, settings, applications, content managers, and developer tools. So from this dashboard, you can manage your website as well, and you can see different site actions. You can connect your mailbox. You can connect your ASIN marketing plan. You can invite people as site uh, guests or people with lower permissions than you. So you can invite people over that are able to edit the site, but that don't have um, the entire capabilities of deleting or adding stuff maybe they have roles that are limited to certain design or office management building management domain management something like that and you can see over here you can create new roles here as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own wix art portfolio make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video